Welcome back to another Yoshimitsu tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about Yoshimitsu's bread and butter combos and yeah, a little bit about his arsenal, how to use his full damage potential. Not his full damage potential because I think his max damage combos are very inconsistent and there is no need to do them. So, uh, at first I'm gonna show you the tailspin moves Yoshimitsu got and I'm gonna tell you the inside and outside of the use of them. So, Yoshimitsu has 4 free, which is the highest damaging tailspin move he got. Um, if you can use this move, you should always use it because it's just the best one. And it does 18 damage if you immediately tailspin the opponent, what you usually want to do with Yoshimitsu if you're able to. If there are any instances where you cannot use 4-3, like uh, sidestep 1, um, you have to use crouch dash 2, but it's also a very very good low hitting mid spin move, which will um, yeah, like work every time. This move is just if it's about consistency, this move will never let you down. It's a new addition in this game. It's mostly used for combos and counter hit fishing, but in combos, really, it shines. It's just just a very very good move, and I will show you a lot of cases where this move is just just brilliant. For two hit uh, spin moves, he has down to one. Which is decent, I guess. I never ever use it if I don't have to, but you have to know it's there. And for free hit tailspin moves, you have 4 4 4. And please, if you watch this video, never ever use it because it's shit. There's only one combo where you have to use it, and that's after sidestep 2. But if you have the chance to avoid it, just cut it off. Um, I will show you now the bread and butter combos from his staple launches like down for 2 or up for 3. And you can see the notations, but I will first show you the combo and then explain everything what's about this combo. So yeah, just just look at it. The pretty combo. Um, what I did there is, as you could see, I immediately tailspin with 4-3, which is what you want to do, like I said. And then you have to deep dash down for one This can be tricky at times, and you have to practice it like 20 minutes. <laughs> but uh, you have to practice a little bit, because at first it can happen that um, you get a crouch dash one, which happened to me quite a lot uh, at the beginning because I was unfamiliar with the input but uh, after a short amount of time it should be second nature to you and you should have any problems with doing that consistently after that you do a neutral to see that's like the tutorial showing off no no just that was fun um, so after that you do a neutral two, which is not hard to do at all I think and then you can decide between his two three hit enders. Um, Yoshimitsu can always connect six hits after the launch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's always guaranteed and you shouldn't have any problems of doing that. If you follow this receipt, uh, follow this recipe or something like that, I don't know the English word for it, you should be always fine and know what kind of moves you can use afterwards. Um, Kitchell back one, no, back one Kitchell four two is the most damaging ender, 
and down 2 to 1 has the best wall carry. So you can always choose between what you need in what situation uh, to make max out on damage. But on down 2 to 1, you have to delay each and every hit to make the last hit hit consistent. If you do it too fast, um, you will get something like this and you're not gonna be happy, so... Uh, this is a little bit tricky, but I like this combo a lot because I feel I have more control and I ha you get a mid wall splat, like not a high wall splat, but a mid wall splat. Uh, that kind of wall splat where you can use his good wall ender. And if you end the combo with back 2-1 Kichu 4-2, uh, you will get a very, very low wall splat. And if you get damage at all, just this, but most likely you will not get any damage. So, um, Yeah, that's his bread and butter. It's fairly easy and um, if you can do this kind of combo, you should do it every time. Like Sometimes, like in this combo, you have to cut out one hit because you have to do the wild standing fall to pick him up but always if you spin and you have like more than three hits just decide if you have like five hits left then you do that the combo that i showed you at the beginning if you have four hits left then you just dash down for one and then do the three hit ender uh, although to note you cannot end your combo with down for one down two to one I will show you, it will not work, because the last hit is gonna whiff, if I'm not completely retarded. I can't even do it, because I never do it. Oh, maybe you can. No, see, I am talking shit, you can do it. So, you have all the freedom to decide which one is the better one. And you just have to account what, how many hits you had before the spin and then decide if you do the regular combo down for one or just dash up and do your three hit enders. And that's about it. There is not a lot to it, to his bread and butter combo. So I will show you some examples of combos where you have to choose a different route. But if you can do this, what I showed you now, you should be fine and you shouldn't have any problems to put out a good amount of damage. So, to show you the sidestep 1 combo is one of the combos where you should use crouch dash 2 for your bounce. Um, you do your regular combo if you're not doing a tutorial and you cannot hit anything. What the fuck? Thank you, man. It's the regular combo, although to note, if you sidestep to the right, 4-3 uh, uh, will not hit. If you sidestep to the left, 4-3 also hit, so you should always use this. Um, next move is sidestep 2, which I rarely ever use, uh, but it's one of the moves where you, like... No, you can just use crush. <laughs> I thought you have to use 444 and I just want to mention it to show you there there is one purpose this move solves but there's none none purpose no purpose at all so you can just do crouch dash 2 and do your regular combo thank you now I learned something new too next move is 444 um, which is one of his key moves one of his best mids and you should always have it in your mind um, and the combo in this game for us Yoshimitsu players is way better than it was before before you had to do this shit and it was inconsistent as fuck and you gonna get robbed like I got robbed from this combo like a thousand times because uh, it whiffed it was just shitty but now you can just do back turn 2 to spin and do your regular combo. Uh, I will show you. Like this. Back turn 2. And it should always connect. Although to note, there are two different variations of this combo that are more damaging. But um, they're fairly difficult. Like this. 
Uh, I don't even know if I can hit it on Shao Yu, to be fair. Doesn't look like I can. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I cannot even hit it once for you. What the fuck, man? Can Okay, you can't hit it on show you. No, of course you can, but I'm just a scrub. So you can do um, neutral four and then do your crouch dash to to bound, or you can even do uh, turn around turn around while standing four, which is completely m mind fucking, and then you can do your combo afterwards. But I will not show you these combos because, in my opinion, they're Inconsistent. If you need them for the kill and you can pull them off, yeah, well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you can do that, but um, for me, they're just too inconsistent. Maybe I'm just an execution scrub, but just just do your regular shit, take the damage, take them to the wall, and that's it. Uh, next combo where you have to go a different route is his counter hit full crouch down for 4. Um... It has the same combo like his no sword footsie on regular hit. You have to do um, a wild standing four into crouch dash two, which can be a little bit problematic at first, but uh, after a while it will yeah, become very easy for you and you shouldn't have any problems. With doing so, I saw people actually... I don't know if that even works. No? I think there was another way of... Of course you can do his old combo. Crouch, cancel, down for one. Down, two, one and then do the regular combo. But you should always have this in mind. Because it's the easier one of both and the more consistent one. Yeah. Um, then we go to his Rook Kick. His uh, 4 till the 3. Which in this game has a very easy combo too. Um, you just do a delayed hop kick. So you jump and hold the up, um, the up 4 like this. And then you do your crouch dash too. And because you did um, two hits, you can connect dash down for one and then your three hit end of choice. My combo, what I like to do is this. Um, if I can pull it off. Like this. And then do my combo. It is um, four till the three, crouch dash... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> crouch dash one and then four. But as you can see, man, I'm really fucking this combo up. As you can see, it's it's very timing specific, uh, specific because if this hits too early, it will whiff, and if it hits too late, the Kitcho fall will whiff. But um, it does a lot of damage, and in my opinion, it's the better choice if you can pull it off. Not that it is hard, but I think I'm talking to beginners, so I'm just gonna tell it like this. Um, yeah, did I forgot? Ah, oh, yeah, crouch dash one, of course. As you saw in the last combo, if you hit a crouch dash one, you should always bound with um, Kicho four, and then do your regular combo. Kicho four is, I think, the. No, no, it has almost the same damage, like 4-3. Yeah, 17 damage, good damage, and it makes your usual combo work, so... Good move. Um, is there anything else? I think I can show you maybe Sword Sweep. But Sword Sweep is another story. So there are people who say that this is the combo to go. And you do your bread and butter. But I like to do this. It is personal preference, though. And this combo, as you can see, is not as easy as the other ones. Even though usually I don't fuck it up that much. Like that. Um, you can do it with all his other combos too. But yeah, like I said, it is 
not so easy and mm, it hasn't it ha doesn't give you a good usage for the risk of dropping the combo of course i will explain it to you but in my opinion you should do the staples so it is three until the four for dragonfly and then hold up two four for the bounce and then dash up and do your three hit ender of choice uh, in my opinion, it is better to end the combo with dash up down 2-2-1 two, two, because of the wall carry. Um, you can get pretty far with this combo, like this w will even hit if I cancel after the second hit with a 2 plus 3 and I will get my very high wall splat which I can follow up with my better wall ender that I will show you in the end in the wall combo section but um, Dragonfly is another way of wall carrying although it's not that damaging and in my opinion there are not a lot of situations where you have to use it but in this situation I always use it if I am not doing a tutorial and it can be pretty helpful and of course um, yeah wall carry is very um, important in this game because Yoshimitsu's wall game is pretty crazy and in this game it's all about hitting a launch get your opponent to the wall 150 50 and then it's over so if you can master this combo just do it I wonder if that hits, if you're in the right angle. So, I have to think about, is there anything else with the sword out that I have to explain? Well, like, this is the same combo as you see. Um, I, I don't know, I don't think so. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, if you hit with this, though. Mm, what the fuck? You just have to do the regular combo, right? There is not so much to it. And if you did this, you do... Wait a second, if I'm not completely stupid. If you do this, you just do a wild standing 4 to pick up and then Kicho back to 1, 4, 2. Not Kicho, it's just back to 1, Kicho, 4, 2. Man, I'm rambling in this tutorial, but I tried doing that five times and I'm always like say something wrong or like my devices not work properly, so I'm just gonna finish it now <laughs> because I don't want to do it again. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna shortly briefly talk about his rage art and his rage drive. In my opinion, you should never do the rage art in a combo because the scaling is so high that you're gonna do 55 damage with rage. So, um, yeah, 55 damage because you have always rage. Which is um, less than you do with a regular combo. So, why would you ever do that? That's just retarded. You should never do that. Um, his rage drive, although, can be pretty useful for wall carry purposes. Even though uh, you have to dash up very far to end the combo. But I wouldn't recommend doing that either because even though yeah it's it's quite good but not in combos. Just use it regularly to get your combo like this. Um, like the normal combo that I do is um, Dragonfly. The first hit whiffs sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. If you dash up, the first hit will never whiff and then you just do this combo. Which has very very good wall carry and you can even get the last hit to connect if you want. So it's um, crouch dash 1 plus 2, 3 till the 4 and you have to make a little dash before inputting it. 2, 4 and then your regular 3 hit ender. 
It does 80, I think 80, yeah, and uh, it has a huge wall carry, so it is good in that regard. And of course, you can also do this, but like I said, there there is really no need to just hold this move to get your your free opportunity for a launch without risking to get punished because you have to dash all the way up to connect it and it's not worth it in my opinion um now we go to the no sort um section where there is just one significant change to the other ones and it's four three plus four four three plus four is a low hitting mid that does good damage for combo and it carries it covers a lot of ground and it has a good wall carry so the only change to his bread and butter combos is just you do one hit before and before the bomb and then do it again and do the kitchen end like you do the launch four three plus four Crouch dash 2, 4, 3 plus 4 again, and then the ender. I choose the wrong stage, man. Uh, I cannot show you the complete combo because every time I hit the fucking wall. But um, that's about it. That's really about it, uh, about the big changes. You all so can use this like this. It's y In my opinion, this is your dash down for what? Like, it replaces it. It replaces the dash down for one, which is good, and gives you a little bit more carry. I'm, I'm thinking off the top of my head. Is there any uh, other change that I have to? Exp yeah, it's um, and this in no sort you don't have the down two to one anymore. So you're always gonna do the kitcho ender. And you don't have your Dragonfly Ender either, because after Dragonfly you cannot hold up to fly. So just do um, the 4-3 and then into Kicho, which is the best one. And then you can choose if you want to like spike them like that with Kicho 1 for Oki. Or just do your regular Kicho for uh, 2 Ender. And you can also use it to do a combo like this. Whew, is there anything else? Yeah, of course. And the good thing is, if you have your Rage Art, you can do this. Oh wait, I, I fucked it up. You can do the combo like this. And do the last one. The last hit. Uh, so you do your Crouch uh, Dash 1 plus 2, then... Ford, um, 3 plus 4. If you're not a retard. And then you do your crouch dash 2. And then Ford 3 plus 4 again and your ender. Yeah, um, the only real reason why you would ever use this at the end of the combo is because the wall carry is very good. And it gives a um, high wall splat where you can end with your most damaging wall ender. And that's about it. That's about it. As you can see, his open uh, open ground combos are fairly easy to do. And after 20 minutes in practice mode, you should be able to do this every time, at any given time. Now I will show you some wall combos. In my opinion, in this game, Yoshimitsu's wall combos got nerfed. Um, I don't know how you feel, uh, but it's it's not that good anymore. So before, you used to be able to do up forward 3 plus 4, back 1, 4, to end your combos like this. It does 37 damage, and it was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty, pretty good ender if you can put it pull it off because it ate up a lot of hits and then there was a lot of shenanigans with this um, <clears throat> but nowadays you're stuck with doing down 2-2-1 two, two, down 2-2-1 two, two, down one. Um, yeah awesome gimmicky shit like I do like the setup I told you before like this with 4-4-1-2 and then the mix up between 
immediately down one or three, which is a safe mid and gives you a free down one on the ground and leaves you in full crouch afterwards, so you can soul sweep immediately again. Um, or you do the dragonfly mix up afterwards with three until the four and hold up between your wall splatting mid and your counter hit launching low. Um, but I found something very interesting. I don't know if it works on Xiaoyu. I will try. It works. No, one hit doesn't work. Shit. I wonder if they can get up kick me then. Because on uh, normal size opponents you can do this and then you can actually end in back turn for a free mix up. And I was super happy when I found it. But it doesn't work. On show you for fuck's sake. For fuck sake, man. Huh, is there anything else? I forgot. I don't think so. Nope. So yeah, like I said, the wall game is not as good. Of course you can do down back three 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 little three, lap. But uh, I hate I hate doing this. I hated it in Tekken Tag 2. I know it gives you like okay and shit but in my opinion it's not good it's just not good and if you want to do the regular ender like you did before you get something like this which is a good setup i guess but why would you ever want to put yourself against the wall um you can also do this to set them up but like i said it's it's just not as good as it was before or back to one which is not a good damage. So if you want to go for damage, just do this, um, in my opinion. And if you want to, like, be a little creative or something. Uh, wait a second. You can do this. What? Well, that's the one I do. So you do four two down back two 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 two, uh, but you can only connect two. Down back twos, like this. Um, no, like this, and then you immediately press um, back up one plus two, and then one to cancel it, and then back back to cancel the cancel, <laughs> back back to cancel the what the heck to cancel the spin, and it looks like this. If you're not a complete retard. <laughs> and you get a nice reset and afterwards, of course. In this game, unfortunately, they can give you a guaranteed down free at, from the ground. But you get your plus frames, you lose a little bit of life and afterwards they're negative. So, you have a good... And uh, if I do this and they do a low get up kick afterwards, after this one, uh, I, and I got hit, I like to do this immediately afterwards or this, because most people are gonna step or block. So uh, doing this is the best option in my opinion. I mean, avoiding the puddle at the wall is always the best option. Although if you have a no sword stance, at the wall you're in pretty good shape because in no, from no sword stance he actually has a lot of tools um you can do two two four one plus two which is 54 damage uh from this wall split which is a ton you can do wild standing two one three for the same amount of damage but end in back no don't end in back turn <laughs> um, what I like to do is doing this, ending in back turn, and doing this. <laughs> turn around, so it's just while standing 2-1, and then turn around to the ground and do immediately a sword sweep. I wonder if I can... No, it's, it's just the same. Um, is there anything else to mention from no sword stance? I got this, I got this, I think there's nothing more you need to know, uh, these are his 
his wall enders. If you're a beginner, just do this, but please, if you if you're upper intermediate, familiarize yourself with this and mix them up with the unblockable. Uh, yeah. One last thing to note. It's kind of a gimmick, but it's good. Um, if the second hit from his full crowd sword sweep if I can do it. I can't I can't do it man. You get a guaranteed wall splat in this game. Wait, does that doesn't that work? Hmm. Of course you can do flash, but a lot of people tell me that down for one flash is actually a very good wall ender. But for some reason, I cannot hit it with my sword out. Other people can, but I can't, so I will not recommend you it. With no sword stance, of course you can do it. But, um, yeah, with the sword out, it doesn't connect for me. So, that's it, I think. It was a very brief tutorial. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit in a hurry or in a rush, but I really tried to record this a lot, a lot of times, and it didn't work out, so... It's more of a basic tutorial how to use Yoshimitsu's combos to fill their purpose in the situation that you're in. And the main receipt, like the main thing that you have to think about is that you have your six hits. That's all. Like, if you remember this, uh, like, theme, you cannot make anything wrong. And, yeah, that's it. That's it. Wait, no, that's not it. I have to show you what happened if you do a no sword. Do I have to? I will show you, yeah, the combo that I did right now because um, now you cannot do the dragonfly, so you just immediately bound for a combo, right? If you do the no sword, sword sweep, you just do your uh, immediately bound and do a combo like this. And I think things like this should be all instant bounce. You just have to do the crouch dash too. But you can figure this stuff out yourself. I hope uh, I hope you learned something new, and I could help beginner players to understand the combo potential from Yoshimitsu. Thanks for watching. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, just leak a, uh, leave a like uh, and. Comment or subscribe if you want to see more awesome Yoshimitsu content. And yeah, that's about it guys. I'm signing out. Peace! That was stolen by another YouTuber by the way.